Last time on Roll for Distraction, Starfall. As the nest arrived in the Antarctic region, the party met with Commodore and Iceman to plan their expedition. However, they were interrupted by the half-scrapped corpse of the mysterious Opus mech that attacked the crawler a few weeks ago. They ran into the hallway to attack it with their small arms, and while Mac did take a nasty hit from its half-functioning ion cannon, they managed to defeat the zombie mech and they disposed of it in the incinerator. With that out of the way, they headed out into the frozen wastes, first stopping at an old Opus research station. They found more of those mysterious black goo monsters inside and fought them off. It seems like Opus was attempting to research them, but their logs were inaccessible. Last, they visited another friendly settlement. They tell the party that the only thing out in the ice fields is a bunch of Opus drones, but the party goes to investigate nonetheless. Hello, it is show. 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 Oh, show. Hi, show. No one told you to know her. I need. I need to start recording. Shit. Are you kidding? Or are no, you? No, I'm, I'm, it's a bit. It's fine. They, they okay. can, they'll be on the recording. It's funny. I can John. We've done that too many times. I can't trust that that's a bit anymore. <laughs> Eleven times, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Anywho, um, I don't think there's any big orders of business to. Uh, announce or anything, so welcome back everybody to the next episode of Starfall. We're kind of just going to get right back into things here. Where we left off, you guys were very close to the signal for the Starfall coordinates to the, uh, we have El Dorado at home. Um, we have El Dorado at home. <laughs> that you have been looking for. Uh, so you guys were approaching an area just before the coordinates that, uh, it's just labeled as encrypted radio signal. You learn from some villagers on your way over that uh, they expect that all you'll find out there is a bunch of Opus drones. Um, and they said, you know, not really worth going out there. Don't know what you want from it. But, it, you know, you got to go through this area to get there. So, as always, I, I will ask as we approach an area. Um, Alex, do you want to scan things? Sure. I will. Spend your energy. And roll your die. 17, so my scanner is okay. successful, and I can ask you three questions about the scanned area, and all answers must be true. Okay, um, so uh, obvious information first, just to get out of the way. You are looking out at a, a frozen, uh, a, a large lake, or perhaps like a bay, you're not really sure with how the horizon is, but a very, very large body of water. It's ice out to the horizon, and nothing immediately in front of you, but it's, you know, two or three horizons to the next point, so there could be something along the way. Just fro frozen ice, uh, visibility stops, you know, a couple inches in. It's it's foggy yeah. ice. Um, uh, otherwise, there's not a whole lot else to describe. So, go ahead. Okay. My, one of my questions was going to be, like, how thick is the ice, but you just answered that, like, it's... You, you can kind of infer right, that so with your eyeballs and just your general stability of your mech as you walk oh, out onto it, that it's thick with many seas. Got it. Yes. The ice is chill. It, yep. It's supporting your, your you know, your <laughs> ATSTs that are walking over it. It'd be alright. Yes. Uh, this one's just for funsies. Is there anything in the water under the ice? Uh, if such a thing were to exist, it would be incredibly deep. You're not detecting anything on your scanner in, in this immediate area. Uh, okay. No, no cool. movement. Yeah. I just wanted to know if there were, like, cool creatures that we are going to find in Starfall that are, like, swimming there. It's possible there's something further out. You're still sort of close to shore, but in this immediate area, no. I okay. have a question. Mm -hmm. Which square of the map are we in right now? The south encrypted radio signal. The one that came okay. from Life Sign. Because we were at the Sorry. village. Okay. I just wanted to uh, double check. It's been a minute. That's not one of Alex's questions. I know. <laughs> no. That um, would be wild. <laughs> where am I? <laughs> where am I? Where am I? Is there any questions that you guys have? Because that was the one question that came to my mind. Do, do we know the elevation of the encrypted radio signal? Like, do we can, can we like hone in on it, or are we just getting a random radio signal from this ice patch? You could ask me for a specific heading if you want to guarantee that you find what's emitting it. Sure. Okay. Can, I was gonna say, can I tell where the signal is emitting from? Yeah. So it's. Uh, <laughs> 
several signals bouncing back and forth along the same uh, frequency, essentially. And they're sort of in front of you in a line. Se several units, you know, in, in just like in sort of a chain. They're, they're forming almost a wall. Each one is spread out by a few feet, you know, enough space to walk a mech through or whatever. But whatever is emitting these signals is, yeah, they're evenly spaced little beacons that are a couple miles ahead of you. All right, last one is, are those beacons, is it purely a wall or is it like a perimeter? Explain to me how those words are different. Is it a so, circle or a line? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, if it, it could be a circle, but it goes out beyond the range of your scanners. But from your perception, okay. it's a line. Does that line have a gentle arc? It does have, a, yeah, it has, it has a gentle curve to it, if that's okay. more question yeah then may, may i posit something to the group yes perhaps does it run north south or east west uh north south if you if you extrapolate the circle it would yeah. roughly form a circle that's, around the starfall coordinates that's what i'm thinking oh, so, it so is a we, i don't think we should yeah. cross this yet i think we need to have a discussion if they have a perimeter set up mm -hmm. this far out because if there is stuff under the ice we don't want it yeah we don't we don't want to activate the drone through. army defense network yeah, we or the Leviathan. Maybe, maybe Starfall is actually Cobra's base from GI Joe. <laughs> the I new mean, GI Joes with like the Rock or the, the first like, of the new GI Joes without the Rock, I think. Yes, the first of the new GI Joes without the Rock. So, are do you want to to advance and see what it is, or do you want to poke around another? Uh, point on the map first and come back to it. That's up to you guys. All right, guys, don't yell at me. Which fucking square are we at? <laughs> <laughs> I asked that! <laughs> Again. We're at the southern encrypted radio signal. <laughs> the life sign. Okay. It's the one connected to the life sign yeah. encrypted Life signs radio was the village signal. you were at at the end of last session. You we're moved at encrypted, encrypted radio, radio signal, signal or we're deciding you're, whether we're going. You're at the yeah. radio signal kind of on the edge of it. Whatever you're we're detecting is sort of on the other side of the box. Fence that's in the middle of we, encrypted radio we haven't signal. actually seen what the encrypted radio signal is yet. You have not seen it, but you have drones. perceived them with scanners. So I, I'm i almost wondering if the encrypted radio signals are maybe not a wall around Starfall, um, but just looking at the the map, I almost wonder if they're camps that are set up to prevent people from approaching the Starfall site, and then there's something like they're individual camps each, not a massive wall around Starfall. So e each beacon is like 50 feet apart, give or take. It's hard to you know pin down an exact number. It's an electric fence. But anyway, I, I we've we've been talking about it for a while. Do you want to go back back north to Send check out it. what that radioactivity is, or do you want to walk forward? All, all for walk forward, say I. I. I mean, we're gonna have to go through an encrypted radio Fuck signal it, at I. some point. Fortune Thank favors you. the bold that survive. So you you guys uh, walk a little bit further for a few more minutes, and eventually on the horizon you do start to see the whatever this is. Um, it looks like it's a bunch of those uh, tripod drones from a couple of sessions ago in the Opus colors, oh, shiny shit. and new, you know, um, uh, with with the, the blue and white shiny paint of Opus. And they're, they're just sort of standing there menacingly, as you might say, in a line about 50 feet apart. And they go as far as you can see out to the north and as far as you can see out to the south. And they're just straight up not moving. Certainly, if, if you can see them, they can see you on this perfectly flat ice field. Um, but they aren't that. doing anything as you get closer. So, All right, who's, who's taking a pot shot hold at Hold on, hold on. Before we do that, I'm just realizing, what if, what, what if all the myths about Starfall are the Opus Institute seeding myth and hope across the wasteland to lure in more test subjects? Oh, I hate that. God, someone's been reading too many sci-fi novels. Sci-fi novels? What are you talking about? I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about the uh, the Neuralinks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is Elon Musk's future. I see. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. Don't look at me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're gonna say anything. I just feel like increasing All right, which one of us is getting hacked? Which one of us has a Neuralink that can get hacked? Probably Colin. 
Colin, turn it off. <laughs> Stop playing your Steam Deck to, through to it. Steam deck. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an AI, technically. Oh, it's like that. It's like that movie. It's like that movie Upgrade. It's gonna start doing. It's gonna start doing kung fu for you. That movie has a fucked up ending. Hi. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, do you approach more, or do you turn and go check out other places first? Approach. We're I not mean, scared. We're not cowards. Like, we're, we're gonna. We we gotta get here eventually. May as well rip the band off. Wait, who has the them. long? Who has a long range weapon? Like a sniper? Uh, the longest range the weapon wall. that you have I've... is either Alex's uh, or Calcifer's big green laser, um, that has a long range, and then I think uh, Max regular sniper rifle has yeah, that as well. My custom sniper rifle uh, is, is long range. Yeah, yeah. shoot it. Shoot it from long range. Shoot one of them. From long uh, range. So uh, let, let me just narrate a little. You get up to long range, which is you know, many hundred, a couple hundred feet, right? Pretty far, you know, two, three football fields. Um, and, you know, you're definitely within yeah, firing range. Feet is one football field, but... but you know what I mean? A, a bunch of feet. It's We're okay. not going to. That big on numbers. In this he doesn't know. Well, he does know what a yard is. <laughs> I hate yard work. Uh, you <laughs> get closer, <laughs> and uh, they, they, again, they're still not firing at you. Um, you're you're looking at them, you know, through the, the scope of your sniper rifle and your your big green laser and stuff, and you're not even sure if they're like on. They're they you know, they, they have like a you know big red eyeball thing on the top of them, and yeah. it's not glowing right now. Um, they're transmitting this signal back and forth to each other, but um, they seem quite dormant. Hey, uh, Damon. Yo. Do you perhaps want to see what happens if you throw an egg at one of these guys? <laughs> Are you talking about his eggs mayhem? Sure. What, you're what else to? would I be talking about? <laughs> Literally uh, just Colin, firing an egg from the thirty mil? Like that, what, that, that would is, be hilarious. <laughs> what's the was, range on eggs mayhem? Um. Or, or do you have anything that makes it long range? I don't know. I think. Um, its range is long. Okay, so you can do it from here. I think like technically it's usually it's usually normal or uh, medium, but I have a high gain antenna. Right. So. Yeah, I was say I thought you had that. So yeah, go ahead and, and uh, you know spend your energy points and roll it if you want to do that. If you want to try to hack into one of them. So 19. So you successfully right. hack in and can ask three questions to the mediator about it. The answer they give you must be true. All right. So you can ask me three questions about uh, this specific uh, tripod Opus drone that's in front of you. Again, three legs. Uh, three legs and a head and a gun, nothing crazy. Um, shiny and new looking, and uh, seemingly dormant, uh, other than its basic radio signal that it's transmitting back and forth. Go ahead, tell me what you want to know. What exactly is the radio signal? I would assume that the drones are able to decrypt it. Yeah, so you decrypt it enough to realize that it's pretty much just like a an IFF, like, I'm still here, you know, no disturbances detected. Uh, Hello, world signal just just like you know you assume if there's a break in that chain that they're programmed to react in some way but otherwise they're just oh, transmitting to each other to say like we're all still here nothing's happening okay this is a perimeter fence but it's a perimeter fence made of of robots um that will react guns. when things go so back that's gonna be Can fun i i would like to pull on on that specific uh thread of information a bit more and um find out what is their standing directive um, in the event, like, the chain is broken? Uh, yeah, so they're, you want to see if chain broken then, right, in their code? Yes. Um, they uh, are basically programmed that if, if fired upon, they're meant to defend themselves. But if something just walks past them, they're actually not programmed to do anything. And shoot. That oh, is yeah. interesting. Shoot. That's Open important. fire. <laughs> I swear, um, get out. God exists in this hell for on this hellscape world. Who, who's, got, who's, who's, <laughs> who's got their? There are ass? a lot of them, <laughs> for the record. Again, there's, there's one of them every fifty feet out to the horizon in two directions. I so there's a lot of them. About religions? Yeah, I thought he was talking about religions. <laughs> that's religion. what I also, wait, that's what <laughs> like, you were talking about. That? Oh, a lot of gods? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, who's got their it, it sniper trained? On these things, uh, uh, Calcifer's uh, long-barreled green laser, and then uh, Max 
sniper rifle, man, man portable sniper rifle. All right, so getting that little bit of information, I'll just be like, put your guns away. Do not, for the love of whoever the Almighty is, for, for the love of for the Gabe love Newell, of your bubble gum flavored <laughs> vape, do not shoot them. <laughs> um, and then my final question would be: How much wood could it take? What was the last? <laughs> Uh, what was the last command they received from whatever C2 infrastructure they have, and how long ago? Please tell my my tiny non command and control. C2. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> hang on. Uh, so the last uh, order sent specifically to this unit that you're scanning was a couple of months ago, and it was just a, a replacement for one that was uh, destroyed. So it was ordered to walk out here take its position on this spot and wait as it as it does um and it's been a couple months since whatever happened that destroyed the last drone to hold this post with uh all that info i'll be like so um apparently we can just walk past them. then let's shoot no <laughs> how about no, no? <laughs> because if we how shoot about yeah, no, you no. crazy dutch bastard if we shoot we'll have this entire swarm of who knows how many because we can't see that far. Somewhere, somewhere between a boatload and a shitload. As is the spice but it's the of real, life. A metric or wow. imperial boatload. You know, man. <laughs> uh, metric. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just be like, maybe everyone get inside the, uh, the bubble as we walk past them, just to be safe. Wait, the, the bubble moves. Yeah. The bubble is attached to the bubble is me, the mech. and I am the bubble. I don't know. I thought He's it was Jake like Jake Gyllenhaal. I was picturing it more like in Fortnite with the uh, the stationary. No, he doesn't like <laughs> put it, it down, yeah. and it's not like that kind of. It, it's attached to an emitter like, on his mech, like gotcha. the like the Halo Three bubble shield. If you would like to do that, Colin, uh, yeah, your bubble should still be up from last session, yep. so everybody I... can bunch up. I still got 15 HP on that because we fought bad guys who only got in melee. Um, yeah, so you do that. You line up in the bubble, walk your way through. The bubble sort of just fits in between two of them, and nothing. They You walk right by. Intruder alert! <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. It's, it's like, oh, and then the sea somehow, opens up before you. No. <laughs> I'm somehow more God suspicious. God damn it. So at... Actually, I know, now I'm sus. As we're, we're going through, I would have told Calcifer um, mm -hmm. to see if there's any change in the communication. Should I roll my sensor again? Yeah, you would have to yeah roll again to ask another question. Actually, no, you can't decrypt their signals with that. It would have to be Colin doing an eggs mayhem to ask okay. a question about like their systems, like specifically if you can tell what's going on. Yes, we wouldn't be able to tell what's going on, but um, because the signal sure, I guess would if change, they transmit out, sure, the the signal um, would change, so the uh, encryption would change, unless it's a sure. constantly changing encryption. Yeah, I mean, if you uh, Alex, go ahead if you if you want to roll, if you want to spend energy points on that. If it's a better option to have Colin do it, then it probably I, should either of you could do it. Eighteen. So I get three more questions. You do get three more questions about the general area. I guess you should ask the one that Colin wanted first, but... Exactly. What's the answer to that, please? Uh, yeah, so as as you pass by, um, you try to catch the signals again, and you do detect a few small packets of data going somewhere south, you figure. Okay. Just a very brief signal. Probably not a lot of information on it, but still. And I can tell it's coming from ahead of us? No, it came, it came from, from one of the, it came the, from one of the drones that you passed by. Oh, okay. It's, as as it was like like a, we have detected movement, kind of. Oh shit! So they know we're here. Something like that, but again, they don't seem to react in any other way. So, um, but I yeah, I guess you got two more questions if you want them. You guys have anything else you want? How much wood? <laughs> what chuck name chuck chuck? Chuck. Now, chuck, now, chuck? Now that we're significantly closer, um, does her scanner pick up anything else towards the? towards Starfall's location? Because we just moved in from... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll say you can um, ask questions about sort of the space between here and the coordinates as well. 
Any movement between um, this perimeter and where we believe Starfall is? Sure. Uh, not uh, like movement in the typical sense. You're not detecting like vehicles or small creatures or anything like that. You are detecting some light shifting in the ice. Uh, not enough that, you know, it's dangerous that your mechs would fall through or anything, but just some rumbles. Are there any openings in the ice ahead where Starfall might be? Uh, sure. Uh, actually, yes, there are a few gaps. Uh, none that would impede your progress. These are not like big ravines or anything. There's yeah. holes um, occasionally, you know, pocketed Like around. the holes that like whales come up. Okay, kind of like that, yeah. Uh, you know, like a, like a good range from 30 to 50 feet on a side, uh, roughly round, just, you know, craters almost. Um, so like a good, and I instantly thought neighbor? State Farm is there. <laughs> like a good... I thought you were thinking Mr. Rogers. State, 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 State Farm. Khakis. Okay. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Anyway... Like good mechs, you guys are there. You walk further. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, as as advertised, as you walk through the ice fields, you start to notice this this pattern as you get closer to the coordinates that there are more and more of these holes. Something I just remembered is that uh, Brian also has a scanner thing. I do also have a scanner thing. Well, yeah. Is it my that turn to scan? Using because we haven't needed it. But now, now maybe maybe seems seems like an opportunity to use it. I'll take a turn, a turn to scan. I got a it's twelve. Brian has a special, sp- yeah, what? A particular deep survey scanner that scans down instead of forward. Oh, that's right. Shit, you're right. I do. Ooh, and now, yeah. yeah, that's right. Wow. We can see what's below. How useful okay. for finding yeah, something under the ice. We, that's why you're using it. Yeah, I'm using that, and I I rolled a twelve. Tell me what that does. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, if a point is not worth scanning because it holds nothing of interest, the mediator... I'll tell you, it is worth scanning. Great, yeah. okay. And that scan... Oh, maybe I don't even roll for this. So the scan returns a basic data map of the okay. underground area, including its sides as well as the first three main sections, as well as any passageways between those sections. The mediator will draw you a rudimentary map, uh, noting any major features, such as bridges, columns crevasses and let you know if sure, the sure, area sure. So I, I, I cannot quickly render you a, a map of, of the Damn. same quality but you mean you're not going to um, draw us a map <laughs> yeah not right now get um, out Microsoft Paint I, right I now I can return that to you at the next session but I can at least describe it for now yeah and, uh, and, and the uh, last, sure enough, you are detecting. Sorry, is there more? Go ahead. Just the last part was it also needs you also need to tell us if it can, if it can fit both mechs and pilots or just pilots oh yes uh, yeah, uh, certainly there's there's room for um, lots of things. Uh, you're detecting um, somewhere just a bit ahead of you, uh, sort of a main shaft down through the ice, and then a few hundred feet down, a whole network of tunnels. Is there water in it, or is it just is it an ice tunnel? They're or a um, secret tunnel. They're are they artificial? They're like metal walled. <laughs> um, secret tunnel. Oh, it's going to be like the tunnel to the college through again. The ice uh, but I think she, I mean, she wanted I mean, to yeah. know like secret, if the secret, if the secret, tunnels were flooded or if they're just filled with air. Yeah, no, they're 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 hollow. Uh, yeah, probably probably musty, but um, if, unless so, someone's yeah. still down there keeping them clean. Um, but then also uh, you also detect um, that same kind of seismic activity, those rumbles, and there is something moving under the ice. Uh, tunneling through it not not in these metal artificial tunnels but just just in the ice above them sort of snaking its way around it's an ice dragon from skyrim is brian is brian able to uh like project what his sensor is picking up to the rest of us well we can say that i uh yeah whatever alex just told us you know that's what i'm telling you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but you you can you, you get a rendering you get a visual rendering of it and it, yeah it's like uh, a bunch of tunnels leading to a bunch of smaller chambers, but then there is one sort of big central chamber. It would be roughly underneath... Excuse me, I'm burping. It would be underneath where that mild radioactivity is on the map. It would be the biggest chamber under under all of this. Well, we're still by oh, encrypted radio signal? You're in between encrypted radio signal and Starfall. Oh, we're in between. Okay, gotcha. Would Brian's scan show the entrance? Yeah, the entrance is at Starfall coordinates. 
you, t you take that shaft down, and then there's a tunnel system that would get you to the big chamber underneath mild radioactivity. So, the the big chamber under uh, mild radioactivity, um, does that appear to be something that was either natural or created no, no, by something No, th these are natural? all... These are all artificial. They are. They have metal walls. They're some sort of structure, some sort of okay. facility. The thing that is tunneling through the ice. The thing that is tunneling through is is not in those tunnels. It is just in the ice, a little bit above those. Those, okay. th those are very deep. Do those tunnels seem to be be something that's made by something natural versus like? The, like is like it the creatures doing tunnels, the tunneling, mean? yeah, or is it going the to it, it is doing has, the digging. No, but like, what I'm trying to get at is, does it seem like something natural is doing the digging, or like the institute has a? Oh, like, like are you asking, is it metal or, or organic? No, you're, it, it's organic, whatever it is. Yeah. Is it okay. the giant worm? Is it the worm, the iron worm? It's probably worm-like, but organic. It's the it's an, it's ice an Alaskan or is it just it's pretty much worm. yeah. <laughs> is it just the tongue? So or is yeah, it the whole you thing? get a little closer. What, Brian? Is it just the tongue or is it the whole thing? <laughs> this is the tongue. <laughs> uh, the whole thing yeah, is the worm. The worm. Um, you get closer. We're, oh, we'll we just, take we'll our fall fucking, and push it know, somewhere else. We get past the goddamn suspense. You get closer, you get to, you know, within visual range of, of the coordinates and, you know, zoom in on your scope or whatever. And sure enough, there is a big hatch, you could call it, just a, a circular uh, metal thing on the ice. We're just going to yeet like, ourselves like out. A fallout it's, it's not a hole. It looks like it might be the top of, like, an elevator. It's, it's sealed. It's um, a fallout vault. And it's it's actually big enough. Oh, my it's, God. It's not vertical. It's flat. Um, and it's big enough that... You could put the crawler on it. Like it's a, it's a really big, presumably elevator. As you're looking at that though, and thinking, "Holy shit, we found El Dorado," um, I will send you a picture. Yeah. Do we want to put the crawler on? It is the real That's question. That's what I was wondering. Come see Alaskan bullworm, guys. Shine the loot. Desert Jesus. Jesus was Desert Jesus. That I I made that joke. <laughs> he <on> was. <laughs> did That's, we? Okay. We did in a previous episode of this. Anyway, here's the big worm. Oh God! <laughs> uh, it is not currently devouring oh. a giant mech as as depicted Why is in this it picture. Furry? Hold, hold, hold I, don't, I think on. it's spiky. I, I don't think it's furry. I think it's spiky. Um, and yeah, it's really big. Uh, it it you know breaches out of the ice. It hops over, hops over the elevator, dives back in. Yeah, it's like a. It's like fucking Lethal Company, just jumps out of the ground. <laughs> kind of, but not, not fully all at once. I have a question. Um, go ahead. Before you start describing the worm, who farted? I know, I heard that too. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? What the hell are you talking about? I heard it too. Someone farted. <laughs> it was I, really it was loud. <laughs> and it came... Is there like a mouth sound or someone's mic moving or something? I was going to say, was it this? No, that didn't pick up. Sure, that let's was. go with that. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> shut up. Big worm. <laughs> Big scary worm that eats robots Big for worm. breakfast. All right. Well, it's it's a good thing it's not the worm. Um, you should probably run. I feel like you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> this is how we take things seriously. We cope with humor. We're scared shitless right now. You should probably now. run Friend away. <laughs> Friend or foe? What do you fucking think, Gerard? Um, you never know. It could be a friendly worm. Oh my um, god! All right, I. Right. I cut my ride hands around it. my mouth and I go, "Hello there." It doesn't yeah. hear it because you're in your mech. Gen General Kuno. And also, still a few hundred feet away because that's the correct distance, right. the minimum distance right, to be from a giant. Seriously, seriously though, does it does it sense us yet? Does it? Do it does not seem that? to have, okay. but uh, certainly getting closer seems like a bad idea. All right, so... Hey, uh, Crawler, we got a jingle jang problem. <laughs> the sandworm's going nuts! Ice worm's going nuts! <laughs> do you, so, uh, 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 you know, with in the spirit of running away in mind, do you go north to the other side of the encrypted radio signal line, or do you go back down the way you came? Is it easy enough to get around it and go to the interface of north? Yeah. Great. 
I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to go north and see some stuff on the way back. Uh, the way that you the didn't go. The controller has weapons on it, right? Yes. Uh, it has one pretty big gun, but uh, yeah, the, you're gonna need help. Um, but you, you can get you can get that. back and talk about ideas of how to deal with that. But so, real simple, you you run away as is the logical response. <laughs> and were you prepared if we were to engage? Uh, I mean, I'm prepared to run the fight. It's not like it's a hard fight to run. You're not prepared. Yeah, we're <laughs> I, scared. I'm telling you. Like, like this could have been the and end. You, and of like, the in season. character, this could have like, been the end of the season. You, right you, here. you know this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you literally all would all have right. died. It's mathematically time, impossible. Time to cheat through the, by looking at the creature in the book. No. <laughs> so yes, from encrypted radio signal, you can go to north to interference, or you can go straight east to mild radioactivity. I heard a couple for interference. Is that the consensus? Yep, interference. Sounds then good. we can cycle. Yep. Run back, back to where right. we came. So you progress further north to an uh, area that was just giving you some radio interference. Um... Let me check my notes, because I wrote these encounters two weeks ago. Did we start noticing the worm signs before we crossed the perimeter, or after we crossed the perimeter? No, uh, after. because we didn't use Brian's... Yeah, yeah we the, didn't use Brian's the scanners that picked up the holes it. and visually seeing the holes. It's all, it's all past the perimeter. This thing's territory, I guess. As we are leaving the perimeter, I want to take another look at the mechs just visually... Are they all facing Drones, yeah. outwards, like uh, away from Starfall, well, they're, or are they they're, facing uh, inwards? They're deactivated. Um, their guns are just sort of pointed down. Um, you you assume that they're just using like seismic and audio sensors on like a power conservation mode. Um, they're not really like looking in a particular Colin, direction. Colin, I like per the se. way you think. I'm I'm just thinking like. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm wondering if these mechs are basically just supposed to be, like, the zookeepers for this giant... That is not what I was thinking. I was thinking the worm is not supposed to be here, and we could point these the other direction. Which direction that, is the other direction? That is also point an option. Point inward to go after the worm Ooh, force. Ooh, yeah! Because we Kong, said there were, you like... hack one of them and send them after the worm? Because if you can <laughs> uh, get one of them to move, be the others will follow. Uh... That would be a pretty big hack. Or, to get. or, or, don't even have to hack it. You could, like, shoot them from long enough range and then make, make a beeline towards <laughs> okay. the worm Come get me. and have the worm and drones collide I don't think and we go that around stupid. them. Well, we don't know. Because they don't they... care if you die in there. I don't think do. I can currently do that, but that may be an option. Uh, just. So just put some, one in some, the something to bring later. up that perhaps you can use these drones to your advantage. Not a, not a plan you can execute on right now, but yeah, that's that's an idea. Uh, you, you you walk some more, and uh, all you're detecting is so you know your radios go out. You can't contact the crawler or anything from here. Um, but you follow the interference toward its source, and you just find a sort of standalone. Uh, it looks looks like a satellite dish. It's probably like a 10 foot wide base and then the dish itself on top of that is like 15 or 20 feet wide and it's just transmitting this this sort of interference signal and it is opus branded as well and it's just sort of sitting there in the middle of this ice field uh it looks pretty high tech probably worth a decent amount as scrap so up to you if you wish to uh futz with it um but there's right, no immediate do. obvious I, I do threat wish, i do wish to do what we should dismantle whatever this thing is and hope it's tier six scrap and then build the mini nuke and launch it at the worm. <laughs> I feel like, we, like like a midi like a midi nuke, like a little more than a mini. Uh, okay, we so need like everything a within nuke. range gets destroyed. Oh, All right. okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Including the elevator to <laughs> the thing you're looking for. No, 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 but... it's fine, it's fine. It's <laughs> underground. It'll, it'll survive. We can actually unbury it with the nuke. Nuke-based excavation is generally not advisable. I feel like there's a Warhammer I mean, what, you story get a, about you get, that. You get a little, you get a little radiation. It's fine. Put some hair on your chest and other parts you don't want hair. <laughs> It'll put some hair on your chest and some chest on your arms and some arms on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we want to just disable this interference, or yeah, it's up to you guys? You you can walk by. There's no threat, or you can uh, fiddle with the machine owned by the evil corporation and get some cool scrap out of it. Or Can we fix some, it? something else I'm wondering is, oh. is it interference 
because it's actually blasting out waves at such a high frequency that it's just cutting everything out. Would you like to hack into it to learn things about it? It is a machine, so... Yeah. Ten. Uh, so my hack produces a mix of confused data. You are able to ask the mediator two questions about it. One of the answers they must... They give must be true. The right. other one truth, can one contain lie. false info. Um, ask me both questions, and then I will answer both of them. Because every time we get this, I'm like, uh, which one do I lie on? <laughs> um, is this is this interference purely for jamming other signals, or is there an underlying signal that's just drowning everything else out? Okay, so is it just jamming, or is it second purpose? Okay, that's question one. Is is this uh? tower remote or is there a connection back to the potential facility what do you mean it looks pretty remote what do you mean like is there some sort of means of communication whether it's there's a fiber wire buried deep okay. under like, the like is ice. it just running completely on its own and yes someone would have to come physically to it to change it or does it have comps yes some sort of comps so my answers to your questions are you're uh, listening to the jamming signal and you think you do detect some kind of pattern in it. You can't make it out. You're not sure what it is, but it is sending some sort of data, you think. Can I, down can I download that signal? Uh, it would be like heavily encrypted and, and garbled and, uh, you know, That's it would fine. require another roll to ungarble it. When, when we get back to the, the the crawler, I will spend my week of downtime or however much downtime to try and decrypt and okay. figure out. And then uh, the answer to the, the other question, is, is it, you know, does it have some sort of landline or direct uh, way to communicate to it that cuts through the interference? Uh, no, you don't see any. The question still stands then. Futs with machine or leave machine? Shoot it! I said futz. Let's futz. We're going back anyway. Yeah, screw it. Futz of it. We need more uh, in what way do you do? Do you just shoot it to disable no. it, or do you no. do something more elegant? <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot. Shoot's all I know how to do. I mean, to be fair, so I vote shoot. I, have. I, have, I can scan if it's made of metal, and I can shoot it. I mean, it is made of metal. Well, then I should shoot. Actually, <laughs> I have a chainsaw which can be used for salvaging. I could cut well, it off. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can also pieces. you can also just say that you roll salvage, which you do by stripping oh, this thing for oh, useful we're in bits. We're a new area. Let me see if I can get a thing. That's sure, not a twenty, but detector. I rolled a sixteen for salvage. Okay, hang on. So if you do the salvage, that will constitute futzing. Um, I almost want to say don't futz with it because I have some ideas. Okay, well, of how well, idea. do one of your patent colon colon ideas? Um, what colonism do you have today? I'm wondering if we go back to the crawler it's and I so can decrypt shit. whatever this uh, signal is, if I can then come back and try and hijack this thing and potentially use this thing to maybe amplify some of my hacks and maybe once I can actually take over mechs, use to take over multiple mechs at once. We don't need to take over multiple mechs. We need you to be able to take over one mech and point it at the worm, and the others will follow that mech's lead. That is an extremely bold assumption. We should let the worm attack the perimeter fence, and all the drones attack it. That, that, that... That's the plan. That's that, what we said. That that's, would... the, that's the opposite of what you just said. You said lure a drone in. Gerard is saying lure the worm out. No, no... So, just so what, what, John, what John was saying is, once I get to the point where I can actually hack into one of the mechs, I can then utilize one of the mechs to... Or, dr they're still mechs. They're drone mechs. The mechs have people in them. All right, fine. One of the drones. Got gotcha you there. Um, I can then utilize the hacked drone to antagonize the worm into attacking it, which That's not will like potentially it. then cause the entire drone swarm to attack the worm. However, comma, something else that could go extremely... Did you say comma? Yes. 
Um, just, just, talk, just stop for a second. You don't have to say comma. It's like when you that, say that LOL out loud. <laughs> could go extremely poorly. Is if I hack into this thing and I don't its know firewall about this guy's is too powerful, <laughs> um, and it detects me trying to hack into it, that may be just as bad as a shooting. Hit. Okay. Conversely, and hear me oh out God. on this. If we don't do yeah. something, <laughs> this isn't a show. If you don't do something, I die. We're gonna here. get eaten by a warp. I we die can't. in real life. Do you How do about? you dismantle the the jammer or not? I want to dismantle I you were the dismantle jammer. Yeah, let's, I, don't I like rolled you. sixteen to scrap this thing. Let's let's just you, go with as that. you dismantle the jammer. As you do so, it dispatches a very tiny drone. That tries to fly away. I will allow one of you to shoot it. Hey, me, 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 Long range me, person, me, shoot me, it. Me, 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 me. Go ahead, Brian. Me, 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 me. All right, Brian. Seventeen. Guidance. Okay, very good. You shoot it. It spits this little tiny quadcopter drone out. It starts trying to zip south, and you fire a volley of uh, what is it? Forty, no, mil- 40 millimeter at it, and <laughs> it shreds it. Thirty. 30 millimeter at it, and yeah, one of the bullets catches it, and it goes down. Throw your 10. Hi. It's a big bullet. It is the big bullet. Um, and then, yes, it uh, so with its uh, uh, tattletale drone taken down, you then do your salvaging. So you find uh, three scrap, John, uh, because you're a special boy, you find four scrap uh-huh. of the tech level of the area, which is five. Woo! Damn it, that's not enough for a nuke. <laughs> that's that's four T fives. Yeah, that's only supply ones, you're only rolling ones. It's just it's just this one dish. Um and that is that area done with. Um you can either go south toward the mild radioactivity. Four T five scrap. It's yeah, a lot of good shit. Forty five. Four we made we did forty four, we did this joke last time. You can either go <laughs> south toward the mild radioactivity or uh southeast to radio chatter, which would get you home faster if that's what you want to do. So then yeah, um, Radio chatter. Oh, life sign. You no. went to no, life sign. Good we lord, Brian. Radio chatter. You're at interference. <laughs> we are, Hunter. <laughs> where am I? I know we're at. Uh, classic <laughs> Brian. Grandma, where Where are we? <laughs> Brian, what's the name of the game we're playing right now? Accutery. It would have been really funny if you said Lancer, but you didn't. So moving on. Do we? Do you Go want forward. to see the mild radioactivity, or would you like to skip ahead to the radio chatter? All for skip ahead to I the radio chatter. To say I. Mild radioactivity. I. I want to get superpowers. <laughs> I only heard one vote for each, so. You know what? Let's crawl out through the fallout, baby. That's you know what? radioactivity. Let's go to Starfall coordinates. Fallout. <laughs> Brian, I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. <laughs> All right, thank Yay. you, John. You fallout. go south. You go south, and yeah, you sort of climb up this this uh, hill. Everything's kind of slightly green. Uh, and well, yeah, I mean, kinda. Um, your you know your your mechs have basic sensor arrays, a little bit of a Geiger counter thing going on in them, and you, you you're picking them up. It's not enough to be actively harmful for you standing here for minutes or hours, even. But yeah, you're you're getting something. You're getting the little clickety clickety noises. Um, standing here. Uh, other than that, there's nothing immediately obvious here. It's just sort of a big bubble in the ice sheet that is frozen and lightly radioactive. Question. When you say bubble, is it a... Or I guess... Never mind. Finish the sentence. Just Would I you have like me to, to define bubble for you? <laughs> I, I was gonna say, is it a bubble above ground or below ground? But then I was like, well, technically, if it was below it's, ground, it's it a, hill. a crater. Are you asking if it's a mountain or a crater? Is, is it a concave bubble or a convex bubble? It's a hill. Uh, shall we do a deep scan and see if the hill is hollow? Uh, that's a question for Brian. Yeah, I guess I could do Does that. Brian know where we are? Uh, do you know where your Brian is? <laughs> Which square it's are we It's 9, at, 12 Brian? p.m. Do you know where Brian is? Does know Brian know where Brian is? <laughs> Brian never knows where Brian is. No, he does I, not. I, I'm in a room. Uh, Brian is. Yeah, Brian I, have, I have enough EP to do another deep scan. I'll do a deep scan. All right. Uh, yeah, you send your sonar or whatever the fuck it is down, and uh, you're, you're basically on the far end of the earlier scan, so you're getting a bit more detailed information. 
And it does look like this could potentially be something that fits the definition of a, a Starfall city. Um, it's it's wow. very deep down. Whoa. The idea of, of tunneling shaped, down there is ridiculous. Is it shaped but, like a star? Uh, no, <laughs> but it, it's oh. relatively an oval. Uh, it, it's way below the ice. Whatever the formed the bubble happened more or less above it. Um, but it, it's, you know, buildings and rooms and is a city. Um, you're not really detecting any movement down there. Um, it could be that it's just too far. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you're not Probably sure. Everyone's dead. Um, it, it might, might just be everyone's dead. It might just be too far to detect everything. But there is the, yeah, at least a semblance of the ships of the city. Even if everyone's dead, guys, think of the loot. Guys. Think of the scrap. Whoa. Guys, I, I figured out the secret of Starfall City. Their nuclear reactor went uh, haywire, and that's why we're now detecting mild radiation. Oh, shit. It's like Chernobyl. This bubble was actually the result of the mushroom cloud, and then it froze. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God, how fucking cold would it have to be for that to be? For that, as you said it, to happen. <laughs> you flash, flash freeze a mushroom Very. cloud. <laughs> I doesn't even happen if you set off a nuke in space. We don't know what happens if you set off a nuke in space yet. An EMP. That's if well, you set it off in no, the upper that's, atmosphere, that's like upper specifically. Atmosphere. We anyway, don't know what happens um, if you set one off in Don't get us on a list. Uh, you can, if you want to, if you have any other questions, you can ask them, but otherwise... Uh, any other questions for the radioactive hill, or will we move on to radio chatter? Radio chatter. Um, you head over to the radio chatter area, uh, as, you know, it starts to get late, and... As you get closer, uh, you can't make out every word on the radio chatter, because there's it's just far away and it's fuzzy. Uh, you're hearing uh, a voice over the radio occasionally, just a couple of words, and it sounds like uh, a mech pilot or, or some sort of fighter, a soldier of in sorts, uh, engaged battle. in battle. Um, in battle? A bit, a bit distressed, and battle. as you continue walking, you get closer and you do start to hear gunshots getting even oh, that closer. That sounds dangerous, we should leave. Yeah, uh, you could go around it and not get involved, that's an option, but otherwise I'll tell you what you see when you get close to the boom boom sounds. What do we see? Do we see do some we way see? I mean, you know. Um, you see this mech, which I'm sending to you now. Boom, boom, this boom, mech. Jesus. Oh! Oh! Like satellite that, ears. That's the, the next level of my mech. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's similar to uh, Damon's mech. It is... A shield projecty thing. It's the is sort Aegis. of its primary system. It, it is an Aegis class mech, um, and it has Opus colors. Uh, it's got the silver and blue. Um, uh, we don't like them. You don't like them, um, but you've never met a human from them, so that's an interesting potential conversation. We could take them captive. Um, and he's alone, and he is fighting uh, a handful of raiders. Um, looks like of the Lost Ark. Looks like it's been a long battle. Um, there's a couple other destroyed mechs. There is a couple destroyed um, Raider tanks and trucks. But now it's just down to this guy and three trucks. You could pounce on this. You could, you know, it, it's a pretty advanced mech he's got, but he's alone. He's damaged. You could save him. You could <laughs> team up with him against the Raiders. You could team up with the Raiders against him. It's up to you guys what you want to do. I think that we risk it and take the Raiders out and see if he's willing to talk. Because worst case, we pile on. Get him. He's weak. Let's risk it for yeah, the best. put up much of a fight. So what? Let's. Yeah, right. I think we take out the raiders and then see if they're willing to, to speak. Um. Okay. So, um, uh, first of all, Brian, would you like to shoot first? Uh, I know you love doing that. I do love um, doing that. It does that. cost action points. And, so up to you. Oh wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. How many action points are left? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh. So yeah, you scoot up to medium range. And they're they're also essentially in close range of each other. You guys are at long. Brian's gonna move into medium and take a shot. Give me a roll. I assume you're targeting one of the trucks. Yep, seventeen. Right. Excuse me. That's a hit. And as we've established in previous encounters, they have Hell yeah. four SP and you do four damage. So immediately you take out a truck. The uh, mech sort of turns to face you. You know, obviously it doesn't have a face, so it can't emote really, but. It sort of just looks in your direction for a second and then turns back to the trucks. So it seems willing to accept your uh, assistance, at least temporarily. Um, and then somebody roll okay. initiative, please. Two. Eight. 
too. <laughs> nope. Colin said it faster. Which is just, uh, I get to go first. So, uh, I will say that one of the trucks is going to break off from the group and drive over to fly on the wall and take a shot. Because you just killed his buddies. Uh, I rolled an 11. Uh, Brian, you take four damage. Okay. Wait, Brian, you don't take any damage? Shield. I don't. Brian had to leave the shield to run up and make that first oh. attack. Oh. Never mind. Sorry, sucks to suck. The rest of you are still in the bubble, unless you use the turn that you have now to move. Who would like to go? Um, I would like to use my turn to move. Sure. That way, the rest of our team is behind the bubble. The movement is free, so you can move up one range band, and then you can shoot or whatever if you want. Yep. I will shoot my 30 millimeter. Uh, that's a 19. Uh, that's a hit. So that's, uh, I assume you go for this, the same truck that just attacked you guys. Uh, or do you go for the other one that is still engaged with the uh, stranger here? Let's go for the one that's near us. Okay, so you take them out. They're done. Uh, then it goes back to me. Uh, the NPC mech gets his turn. He's going to aim at the truck who was fighting him with some sort of weapon that he has. Where are we? Ah, he has a tank cannon. He has a 120 millimeter cannon. But I rolled a miss. The the truck is just doing donuts around him, and he whiffs. Back to you guys. I'll go. Nine. Um. Okay. Yep. That will kill the remaining uh raider vehicle. So now it's just you guys and this mech. Um. I got radio your, over your, the. Your, your I radio jams. also. Um, I can I can pin him if we want to. And he, uh, you know, after you take out this last mech, he turns towards you. He's got his gun vaguely leveled at you, um, but he's not, like, you know, making an obvious move to shoot you. You hear a voice come over the radio, and it's sort of uh, distorted through, like, kind of a Darth vader filter, um, you know, for, like, identity protection. I'll do it in post. Use your imaginations. Um, <laughs> it sounds like he's on an episode of Cops. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's like, uh, well, this is never happened before. Um, what master do you serve? <laughs> and he just kind of like bends the mech forward a little so you see the logo more prominently. What's an Opus drone doing all the way out here? Hmm. You guys got to learn the difference between drone and mech. <laughs> I'm, I'm referring to drone as in like. Oh, you're using it in a derogatory term sense. Yes. They're bureaucrats, like, Alex. I don't respect them. Uh, yeah, we don't respect them. Uh, he's like, the robots Morty, shoot them! He's like, I could ask you the same thing. This is our territory. Listen, there's more of us and only one of you. Well, let's well, hold on. Answer the question. <laughs> why, why are we getting hostile immediately? Because he's Opus Corpo Scum. We don't like him, right? Yeah. But maybe you gotta we can, do good you know, cop, bad cop. Okay, fine. Be bad cop, then I'll call. Hey, look, protocol states that I'm not supposed to engage with anyone, any wastelanders out here. I'm just going to say thank you, and if you let me walk away, I'll walk away. I know I'm outnumbered. What did the raiders want? We're just want? looking for information. Uh, they're raiders. They raid. As far as information, I'm more scared of my bosses than I am of you, so... Okay, have my station. Does anyone else have anything to ask him? <laughs> <laughs> While we're doing name. this, Colin, uh, what what's the over under on you hacking his systems and uh, uh, getting getting some info? Uh, I mean, I I could eggs mayhem him. Uh, that's a thirteen, which is right. uh three questions you must answer truthfully. Go for it. Is he sending any uh? comms back to Opus presently or within the last I mean he has recently like you know while the fight was been... going on um, but uh, as he's been talking to you no he hasn't said anything back so they may not know that we're here that's good where did he originate from you can kind of follow his uh, you know sort of GPS when log and it goes and way south alright <laughs> Mommy back to daddy back. Um, no, uh, way south. Their their base is almost at the South Pole. Um, he was dispatched from there a couple oh, days damn. ago. Oh damn, he is 
far. Yeah, he's way out. He, you know, he came with a squad, but. Before you answer this, um, rest of the party. Good question, bad question. Is there anything in his database that may have info on Starfall? Great question. Thoughts? I, I think that could be a good question. What was his question? Okay. Wait, Alex. wait, what was his question? Uh, it... <laughs> shut up. <laughs> anything uh... about Starfall? Uh, anything about Starfall in his, like, onboard computer. Um, other than the coordinates of it and, like, a sort of a vague map of where the perimeter is, which you kind of could already infer anyway. Um, okay, but that's confirmation. Yeah, it, it goes all the way around the other side. It is a perimeter. Uh, other than that, no. No real further information there. Um, you know, you assume it's all compartmentalized. Need to know. Oh, so when you were saying, like, all the way down south, um... Is, is their base. So it's outside of the Starfall... Um... It's well, well outside of this map. Yeah. Okay. Um, anywho, those are your questions. You've, you've gotten your info. Um, as you're you're doing this, he's just sort of slowly backing away. Does anyone stop him in, in any way? Or uh, do you let him go? Wait! Let him go. Do, I'll, I'll go over to Cobbs and be like, do we want to stop him? How close is this to, like, our crawler? Uh, fairly. I mean, it's not like you can see it on the horizon or anything, but it's, it's you know, one node away on the map. Were they scouting us while we were scouting them? I think it's so. It's possible, but it, it doesn't look, like, looking at the tracks, it doesn't look like, it looks like he came, you know, straight up from the south, so probably and not. Hit, and then hit the raiders. And then the, it just ran into so these raiders by chance, yeah. He, he had, did we ever ask him what he was doing here, or did he, he just, like, shrug that question it. off? Yeah, he's, he's very reluctant to give any info because it's, you know, company protocol or whatever. kill his family or whatever. Yeah, you know, typical cyberpunk and corpo. Anyway, it's getting late. Last chance. Do do we shoot? Do we let do anything go. to prevent him from walking away? Because otherwise, let him go. he's just going to turn tail and go. Uh, good luck. Let's, let's have, a, have a good day, citizen. I'll send over the comms. Good luck. That, that he just would be nice, though. He just kind of gives you, like, a nod with the mech and dips out. And then, yeah, you can return to base. You can uh, come back into the control room and uh, regroup again with Iceman and Commodore. Uh, Commodore is like, "Hey guys, we're home." All right, uh, give me, give me the debriefing. What if, what, what's going on out there? What do we have? The big fucking at? worm. All right. So do you remember that really, really old story called Doom? And the uh, I believe we have the holodex. Yeah, the popcorn bucket that's <laughs> ah, the ancient artifact. The somewhere. popcorn bucket is tier six scrap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's only one of them it left in existence. Um, it's he's a holy like, oh, artifact. well, that's <laughs> that's holy. gonna be a problem. We're gonna have to figure out how to. Uh, we don't have the firepower for that. That's right. We'll uh, does anyone have these schematics for an intercontinental ballistic missile? <laughs> hey, did we scrap the other? Oh, we gotta scrap like where the raiders. Uh, you did not. Um, can, can we like? Yeah, just give me a roll for salvage for the uh, the field of debris. <laughs> Several minutes later. Back to the moment. Um, <laughs> Commodore's like, okay, well, uh, rest up. We'll 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 come back. We'll we'll progress. We'll move our crawler closer. We'll uh, explore our options for. Weaponry will reach out to contacts and I mean, see let's, uh, what we let's can do. Let's also assume that we went over that we ran into a living Opus Institute pilot, right? Yeah. We told, okay, yeah. You you, you you give over all the intel and everybody's like, okay, let's let's sleep on this and think about it and all that, and we'll you know revisit the aftermath of this at the beginning of the next session. Um, let me run downtime and then of course on sc off screen we will uh, finish that up. I would like to decrypt the signal. Uh, yeah, Con, why don't you, um, just give me, like, a general check for being a good science man. That is average tech. Okay. Um, guess what? Chicken butt. I lied. Oh. It was just interference. Oh, no. That was the lie. <laughs> and cool. you got really obsessed with it. I was like, well, I'm not going to change the lie. I see in our storage bay we have fucking 45 tier 2s. <laughs> Can I make something with that? B building is always entirely an option. We will do that off screen because there's a gazillion options for things to build. We have 43. Um, let me roll for the trader. 13. Uh, an intact mech chassis and an intact system are available of T3. Give me a moment to roll those up. 
Uh, it is an Atlas mech that is available. Um, and then also a system of Tech 3, so... Uh, it's a spider locomotion system. Ooh. This is on page 177. That's got a lot of legs. You can, like, man. climb on shit. As always, we'll, we'll revisit that uh, in between sessions. Um, as always, you get to pick one piece of pilot equipment and one pilot talent in between. Um, so, you got, again, we'll do that off screen. Um, you get back your HP, your SP, your EP, all, all your P. Well, thank God. Um, we've paid the upkeep cost. And that's about it. I think everything else we'll do off screen. Um, basic management. Does the crawler upgrade? Uh, the crawler does not upgrade. We need two more downtimes for the crawler to upgrade. Damn oh. it. Okay. I thought I thought we were much closer than that. Yeah. So I think, I, maybe, hang on. Can you just, like, it's possible that you can just pay early to do it. Uh, I will double check in between sessions. It, it's a long, it's a complicated thing we would do in between sessions anyway. But yeah, you might be able to just pay some of your extra T2 scrap to jump up to T3 immediately, which would be cool. Um, so that's a possibility. Tune in next time. Um, to see if that if happens. Cool. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll continue this conversation uh, when we kill the recording. So everybody, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that. Um, check out Big Adventure Game and all the other cool stuff we got going on in the channel. And see you later. Uh, bye. 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 Remember, eat your vegetables. Everybody.